it is Dr. Nikki and I wanted to just talk about using dice with templates to scaffold learning. So you could have the kids, this is a dice container and it just has um, felt in it so that the kids can roll the dice and then they roll the dice. This I rolled 12 and 19 and then these are just number lines and you can have number lines, you can, you know, printable number lines, you can buy number lines. Um, but then the kids can do that on the number line. So they could say, well, I'm at 19. They can see right here, oh, if I jumped one more, I'd be at 20. So now I'm just going to have to jump 11 more. They could do that on um, their 100 grid as well. So the kids could have the dice, and then they could have the number grid, and they could have the number line, or they could have the number grid or the number line, you know. Um, and they're not going to always have these. These are scaffolds, but you eventually phase them out. But in the beginning, when you're really trying to get kids to work on strategy, um, you would do things like this. Remember, we're not rushing second graders to the standard algorithm. We are not doing that. We are trying to get kids to be flexible with numbers and on friendly terms with numbers. And the way we do that is we have them play a lot of number games where they have scaffolds so that their thinking can develop into flexible structures and, and efficient structures.